So I think also with, if, if there's routines that are going on, like, like your morning routines, like especially in kindergarten where they're doing calendar and counting and well, the weather and all those kinds of things, those routines can be um, really easily tweaked and so and the kids get used to it and then they can actually interact and you know be part of that data collection or the graphing or whatever it is that's happening on the smart boards. And for me as a teacher the planning is great because I have these um, templates that I've made that I just can fix each week and it's a routine that the kids know and that they recognize and I don't spend part of my um, instructional time explaining things a lot. In terms of achievement, we're seeing, specific in the writing area, 75% um, of our students meet standard in writing, which is huge, and we've done that for two years in a row now, and I, I can't help but think that part of that is because of computers, word processing, the small little eye packs, and the kind of the enthusiasm and motivation to, um, to write is enhanced by that. I came from a district that had very little technology. I had an overhead and I could check out a TV, and that was the extent of it. So um, I never even heard of a smart board before I came here. So it's been really fun as a teacher to be able to be creative in that way and to make up lessons that are really engaging for the students. And they're becoming technology kids. They, I'm amazed at what they can do. And then there's classes that are using the small little iPad, which is actually older technology, but keeping that running and kind of raising, um, it raises motivation for kids. They get excited about it, and they're able to showcase their learning in a, in a really professional, kind of professional way. They see a finished product. When we, when we went to school, and even when I first started teaching, we used um, chalkboards, and then we moved to whiteboards, and, and now, of course, we're, we're working with the smart boards. And children are coming to school much more savvy about computers um, than ever before. And so I think they're, they're just growing up it with the computer and using it and they're getting used to it and this is just going to be all very natural to them and, and as they move on into grades they'll just learn more and more and I just think this is the, the way it's, it's, the world is going now and, and children need to learn computers even at a very young, young age. The reason technology is important today, actually, it's, actually the school board goal is to prepare our students for their future so their future is of course going to involve technology. There's not, I wouldn't, can't think of any jobs that don't interface with technology in some way. So we would be doing them a disservice if they weren't exposing, exposed to it and they weren't utilizing it and getting proficient with it. And they love it and they live in the world of technology, so they don't think anything different of it. It's part of who they are and it's part of, they don't know any, you know, unlike current adults, it's new for us. We're having to kind of jump onto it late. So it's something that they enjoy, they're motivated by it, they're going to need to use it. Why would we not incorporate that in how we, how we learn and how we do education? Teachers use technology to instruct and connect with their students every day. But as the students continue to learn and grow, they begin to take technology into their own hands. Students at Mill Creek Middle School are given the opportunity to test and improve their independent technology proficiency through programs such as Tech Yes. Tech Yes is a technology literacy certification program which gives students a hands-on experience in using technology skills for creative projects. Upon completion of their project, individual students will receive a certificate that is recognized by the U.S. Department of Education to fulfill their technology literacy requirement. Mill Creek Middle School received a grant from the Warehouser Company Foundation through Kajana Voices to implement the Tech Yes Science program. Through this grant, the school received a perpetual license and the curriculum for all 7th graders to participate in the program. Last year, 245 7th graders received their Tech Yes certification by demonstrating their technology proficiency. Um, I think that it's important that they don't become stagnant, that they're not happy with their level because you're proficient or above average right now with technology. In a year or two, the knowledge you have is pretty much worthless actually so um, don't be satisfied with oh I created a great project and I've mastered this well if you've mastered something start looking um, out there for people who want beta testers and get out there on the cutting edge um, there's always something new and quite frankly I think some of my kids are going to be the kids who create the net up-and-coming scratch the up-and-coming smart notebook programs first I had to gather all my information I did that mostly from the internet and then I had to organize it I had to put it all in Word documents and PowerPoints, print it out, and then construct it. 
we need to have people who are aware of the impact that, of the actions that we take, whether it's the car that we buy, whether the, the garbage we throw out, well, the things that we buy has to be environmentally safe. And it is not better place to start teaching but the next generation. Computer programming um, program for kids because it's like rather simple to use. It's like you have these different things and it's pre-made so you, can, you can't really make your own block. So if, if you want to do something you have to figure out a way to do it with the given blocks. And they're always, um, they're always making it better because they're coming out with another version. Well, I think it was very, very interesting, very um, educational. Uh, it was nice how they were able to incorporate um, technology, some art actually in this case as well. And um, they had to kind of think out of the box. It was um, adaptation from one biome to the other and they got to do a lot of research and um, talk to people even, look into different kinds of books and then think um, at the same time as to how the animal would adapt from you know, one situation to the other. And uh, I think it was a very, very creative and educational project. This is how um, I take the penguin from the Arctic tundra to the tropical rainforest. And it's about what changes will occur while it's changing. And when it gets there, what color would it be? What kind of feet it will have, wings, that kind of stuff. I learned uh, about simple machines, like um, about a screw that I never knew that it was uh, two uh, simple machines put together. Like it was a wedge wrapped around with an inclined plane. I like the way that it allows the kids to have student choice. Um, as a teacher, I had to learn how to step back and get out of their way so that they could focus on um, directing their own learning and becoming very passionate about it. So I find that with student projects, like this Tech Yes project that they're finishing up, they do a lot more work than I would assign in general for assignment, so I like it a lot. Student projects must go through three phases of evaluation to ensure that they meet technology standards. The first phase is where a Tech Yes participant evaluates the project themselves. Then a trained Tech Yes peer mentor offers suggestions on how to improve the project. Finally, the Tech Yes advisor evaluates the project. The students must pass through all three phases before being certified as technology literate. I mainly just had to let them know what to do if they got stuck, like what programs to use, how they organized their stuff, gave them some examples of programs to use. We had to help them cr make their projects better than what they started with, so we helped them to make movie clips and use cameras to, the, um, and to increase their abilities. Wow, keep up the enthusiasm and interest because as we all know, technology is changing all the time. The world is changing all the time. And if you keep that, that your mind open to learning new things, um, the world is open. There's so many opportunities out there uh, where technology can help us and enhance our lives. The three I've seen so far, uh, I had to be reminded they were only seventh graders. They seem to be beyond the seventh grade in their knowledge and what they were able to articulate to us that they, were, that they accomplished with their project. I really enjoyed being here. Uh, it seems like uh, the school put together a good program where the kids got to learn um, with their hands-on project. And um, I think it was a success in all the sponsors um, and the parents and the teachers, everybody who was involved in this uh, huge project uh, uh, deserve uh, uh, kudos and I hope they continue to um, support the students like this so that uh, they can be successful in their careers.